You're watching Expert Insights. A lot of investors are looking at interest rates today and, and thinking to themselves, why don't I just be in cash? If you look back in history, in 1981, the Canada Savings Bond was came out with a rate of 19%. One year later, that rate dropped to 12%. Rates aren't going to 19% or even 12%. If you invest one year later, you'll be faced with the very high probability of reinvesting at a lower rate. Dividends tend to provide you better inflation adjusted rates of return, which fixed income instruments can't because they're just that, they're fixed. Cash is meant to be a parking spot and the risk that anyone faces sitting in cash is a decision that has to be made when to deploy. And when you decide to invest, you have only two outcomes if you're in cash. You're right or you're wrong. When to go in, nobody knows when to go in. If, it, if people knew when to go in, then you wouldn't have to sit in cash. So that's the risk of cash, missing the boat. And another reason not to have your portfolio 100% invested in GICs or fixed income instruments is because you'll miss out on all the opportunities that uh, Canada produces in terms of some of these great growth companies. We have wonderful industries, um, uh, both on the resource side, the industrial side, the financial side, and the technology side. A lot of great companies that we really want to have exposure to.